Let's go over the solution to this latest quiz. All right. Find the equation of the line standard form, which is perpendicular bisector of the segment AB through A negative 5, 7, B 3, negative 4. I did give you a graph. You want to plot them, you plot them. Okay, there's the two points. Somewhere in here is the, is the, the midpoint. Okay. And through that midpoint at a right angle is the line that we're after. Okay? So we're after that line, which means we need to find that midpoint, right? Okay? We need to find the slope of this line. Whatever that slope is, M1, M2, the slope of the perpendicular is 1 over M1 with a negative, the opposite reciprocal. You know what to do? Go ahead and do it. Midpoint, here it is. Negative 1, 3 halves. Slope, 11 over negative 8. Perpendicular slope, 8 over 11. Okay? Points, uh, uh, point slope form. Y minus Y1 equals uh, slope over uh, slope times X minus X1. There it is. From there, it just needs to go to standard form. Multiply everybody by 11. 11y minus 33 halves equals 8x plus 8. So standard form ax plus by equals c. ax plus by equals c. Uh, there's no fractions. Clear out the fractions. Multiply everybody by 2. 22y minus 33 equals 16x plus 16. No big deal, okay? Negative 16x plus 22y equals what? Uh, add 33. To add 33 is 49. There you go. That's the equation in standard form. I didn't even care. I just looked at it from there. And if that was it, that was it, okay? Cute. The shortest distance from this point, 12, 3, to, 5, to the line 2x plus 5y equals 10. What's the outline for that? Look at the look at it below. Here's the line in question. 2x plus 5y equals 10. Y intercept 2, x intercept 5. There's the line, there's the point. Shortest distance is along the perpendicular. Along the perpendicular. Find slope of this guy, which we know is negative 2 fifths. Negative 2 fifths. Slope of the question of the, the line we're after, slope equals 5 halves, okay? With this point given 12 to 8, okay? Find the equation of the line passing through 12 3 with slope 5 halves, okay? Find its intersection with given line. Compute the distance from 12 3 to the point of intersection. There's an easier way. I showed you. All you had to do was listen in class and look on uh, page 78. You would have found it. But this is the way I outlined it because this is the way I suspect everybody was going to do it. So here we go. Slope is negative 2 fifths of this line. Slope of the perpendicular 5 halves. Okay? 5 halves going through minus 3 and uh, not ra rather through uh, 12, 3. There it is. Point slope form. Get it in the standard form so you can do a systems of equations, okay? Get it in the standard form so you can do a systems of equations. So there, there is my uh, standard form. There is my uh, line that's given. Systems of equations yields that y is negative 2. Throw a negative 2 back into, finds x is 10. Compute the distance between, uh, so this is... Um, this is a 10, negative 2. Distance formula applied between 10, negative 2 and 12, 3. It uh, works out to be a nice, uh, no, what's it work out to be? That's uh, radical 29, I believe, is the distance. Root 29 is the distance, okay? I'm not doing it. You can do it. All right. Next. Find the equation. I crossed out standard form. Passing, that's number four. Let's go to number three before we go to number four. Here we go, number three. Okay, here's number three. Find the equation of the line tangent to the circle. There's a circle. I had it, I made this 4y. Only
only just no particular reason, just to make the numbers crunch down a little nicer. Okay, so uh, complete the square in x and y for the center, which ends up being 2, negative 2. I don't even care about the radius. Okay, and then um, so it's the equation of the line that is tangent to the circle at that point. So what we know is that 2, negative 2 is the center of the circle. 2, negative 2 is the center of the circle. And we want to go, uh, we want to go uh, tangent at the point H6. Okay, fine. And we want that equation of that line. So, so uh, 8, negative 6, 8, negative 6 is down here, down here. So we want uh, our radius to sweep out between those two. And we want the tangent, which is going to be perpendicular to the radius. It's another perpendicular case, okay? Another perpendicular case. So where do we go? All right, we have to find the equation. Rather, we have to find the slope of the line passing through um, 2, negative 2, which is the center of the cir circle. 2, negative 2, center of the circle. And through this point, which is... There you go. There's the shuttle. Come and get the shuttle. And then this point here is, okay, 8, negative 6. 8, negative 6. Compute the slope between those two. Slope between those two. That slope, okay, between 8, 6, 8, negative 6, and 2, 2. Compute slope between 2, negative 2, and 8, negative 6. Slope is, slope is what? Y2 minus Y1. Slope is equal to Y2 minus Y1. Negative 6 minus negative 2 over 8 minus 2. Minus minus is plus. That goes to 4. That goes to 6. Slope is 2 thirds. Slope of the perpendicular, which is slope of the tangent. Slope perpendicular is 3 halves. Okay? 3 halves. Uh, lost track of the sign here. This would have been negative. Okay? It's negative, so the slope is 3 halves. So that's the slope of 3 halves passing through 8, 6. y minus negative 6, y plus 6 equals 3 halves x minus the x coordinate, which is 8. John didn't specify the form of the equation of the line. That'll do it right there. Okay. Uh, last problem. Find the equation of the line. I crossed out standard form because I don't really care with this one, as I told you, in the interest of time. Passing through the center of the circle. It was lined up here so you could see that. Find the center of that circle, negative 4, 2. Okay? Um, and the midpoints of the segment containing the x and y intercepts of this line. Here's this line, x and y intercepts. What are they? x intercepts when y equals 0. There it is, 4, 0. Y intercepts when x equals 0. The midpoint of the segment containing that, 2, 3 amps. Okay? So we want the line going through 2, 3 amps and negative 4, 2. There's the slope. 1 half over negative 6, otherwise is known as negative 1, 12. Slope negative 1, 12 passing through either of those points. Here's the line. You want to put it in standard form, no big deal. Multiply by, t excuse me, multiply by 12. 12 y minus 24 equals negative 1 x minus 4. Take it home from there. x plus 12 y equals 20. Equation of that line. Okay. This last guy, I'm not doing. It's all for you to do on your calculator. It's all for you to do on your calculator. Okay? Um, and uh, we did an example of that. Did an example of that. You want to look, you're going to end up having me do it. The perpendicular bisector.
going through AB. Purbis says Purbis is your perpendicular bisector. The perpendicular bisector uh, for AB was 24x minus 6y equals negative 66. Perpendicular bisector for um, for AC. Purbis on AC gave uh, 10y 10 10x minus 10y 10x and 10x minus 10y equals negative 100. Of course, they simplify. No big deal. Each one of those simplifies, but that's what purpose gave me, and I'm not even going to bother because I know I have from there. Those are the two perpendicular bisectors. They converge at the center of the circle. Simul are uh, simultaneous equations, systems of equations between these two lines gives me negative one-third and, um, and nine and two-thirds as the, as the point of intersection uh, and therefore the center of the circle. Okay, uh, compute the distance between uh, the center of the circle and any one of the three points up there and that distance from the distance formula is 14.15. So you have all the ingredients for your circle. X this is plus a third. No, it is minus a third. That's right. It is minus a third. When we put it down in here, it's minus a negative third. So it's plus a third squared plus y minus 9 and 2 thirds squared equals 14 15 squared. There it is. There it is. There's the equation of it. So it took me 11, 12 minutes to do that. Should have taken you 12 minutes to do it, too, and you had more than twice as much time. Okay? All right. There's your, there's your, there's your test. There's your quiz. Done.